know how long this video gonna go. My phone was like packed up, but I had to come out to get my medicine. Still didn't get it. I gotta come back out tomorrow. But she said they put they put the order in and it's coming in tomorrow. So. Oh, it's okay. Hopefully, they come, you know? Hopefully, they don't have... But see, I always try not to wait till I run out to call. I used to tell Chasey that. So, I think he got all his medicine. And I have another set of multivitamin. But I think now... I guess the thing is, is I don't know how it works, you know, cause you gotta wait. They pay for it every month. So you gotta wait till that time span is up. I don't know. I'll be in the house. You know, I ain't gotta come back out for tomorrow. But I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of like fearful because I was trying to call the pharmacy and nobody was answering. And I went to 311 and it said that well, pharmacies would be open. So I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Then I called the doctor's office and no answer. So I was on the phone with 311 Cause I was gonna ask them what's the alternative if the pharmacy by you is not open. But then my mind told me to try again. I tried the pharmacy, no answer. So I tried the doctor's office, somebody answered. And I put the prescription in. She said, he said he's gonna give it to the doctor. And so I don't think they gonna be telling you you can't get no medicine. So, I went on. So, I went on. When first they were telling me, no, you need a new prescription. I said, well, I called this two days ago. Hello, hello. Taking clothes off. Raining out there. everybody i try your best to enjoy uh the weather this week uh, at least have a safe social distance we are expecting to see a bit of a roller coaster of those temperatures this week as we are coming upwards close to about 59 on thursday friday we have 60 but if you notice each and every other day we have an opportunity to feature around the showers so just keep that in mind especially for wednesday night Local weather, local traffic, local matters. 
News Talk the Bronx is brought to you in part by Link Health Training Center. For more information about our CMA and HHA training, call 718-519-6730. Have you been injured in an accident of any type, suffered from medical malpractice, or been a victim of police brutality? You may have a legal right to receive money damages. To find out, call us at 1-800-447-HURT. Call now. Hey, New Yorkers, do your part to stop the spread of coronavirus. Stay home and minimize outside interactions when you can. You should particularly stay home if you're feeling sick and call your doctor. Keep your kids home if they're sick. If you need a doctor, call 311. Help employees to telecommute or stagger scheduled work hours. If you do have to go out, practice these important habits. Wash your hands well and often, and cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze or cough. Put more personal space between yourself and others. Try for six feet or more if you can, and call, text, or video chat to stay connected with family and friends. Don't visit seniors or those with chronic health conditions if you're sick and avoid unnecessary gatherings if you have a chronic condition. Pay attention for alerts from the city. Be sure to get facts and information from official sources. Text COVID to 692-692 for real-time updates or visit nyc.gov slash coronavirus. If you're injured in an auto accident, slip and fall, or hurt on the job, the law office of Charles E. Finelli can help. We will make sure the insurance companies pay for any damage to your vehicle, along with any other expenses. Our lawyers get to know you. While you're recovering, we'll make sure you receive your lost wages. Our lawyers will see your case through from start to finish. One of our staff is available 24-7 to answer any questions. Give us a call and ask for Pete Rivera, where your case is good as your lawyer. <laughs> Looking to get out of your current lease or finance, or maybe feeling like your car has reached its end? No matter what make or model you have, Yonkers Honda will buy it. We have multiple appraisers on site to give you an instant cash offer. Come visit our brand new pre-owned car facility located at 2006 Central Park Ave. With all this space, we need to stock up on inventory. Don't wait, visit us today. Have you been injured in an accident of any type? suffered from medical malpractice, or been a victim of police brutality, you may have a legal right to receive money damages. To find out, call us at 1-800-447-HURT. Call now. Happening today on News 12, the MTA wants you to switch things up. Officials are asking passengers to board the bus in the back in an attempt to keep drivers distanced from the riders. Plus, schools back in section, session for our city's school kids remotely. Starting today, thousands of kids will walk home to Google Classrooms in an attempt to restart the learning process during this pandemic. And fire marshals are hard at work attempting to find the cause behind an early morning fire in the Melrose section of the Bronx. And we're taking a look at your weather conditions. So there's snow or a wintry mix in the forecast. Meteorologist Mike Rizzo has your hyper local weather forecast remotely. News 12 starts now. Thanks for joining us here on News 12. I'm Asia McKenzie. It is Monday, March 23rd. Hope you had a great weekend. We'll get to all of our top stories here in a bit, but first let's check in on meteorologist Mike Rizzo. He's joining us via video chat. Mike, we're practicing social distancing. How's it going? We are. Uh, it's good to be safe, right? Uh, definitely dealing with some uh, really uh, terrible things going on out there, but weather conditions today aren't going to be horrible for our area. I think the weather conditions are going to be a little bit better once we get into this afternoon. So let's head outside and take a look at the conditions. Uh, this is coming in from our studios up in the Bronx. Uh, this is a cloudy and dreary start to the day. A couple of showers nearby. Outside of that, really not a problem overall. We got 45 degrees as we head out toward this afternoon. Our mood cast uh, pretty uh, unsettled and not too happy with the weather conditions, but hey, it could always be worse. We've got 39 degrees out toward Brooklyn, 36 up in the Bronx, 38 in Queens, 37 in Manhattan, and about 40 over in Staten Island. Temperature-wise, uh, we're going to be slowly warming into the 40s, not by much, with an east wind of about 15 to 25 miles per hour. It's been a bit of a chilly day today for sure. A couple of snow shower activity has been passing nearby, if not toward the northern portions of the city. It will stay north and west for the most part. No accumulation expected locally, but we will see rain showers that could get heavy for this evening. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks so much, Mike. 
NYC Transit continues to keep bus operators and frontline workers safe while the system continues to keep things moving. News 12, Phil Tate tells us more from Canarsie. Phil. Good morning. Starting today, MTA bus riders will only be allowed to board buses from the rear door. Now, this is an effort that the, that the New York Transit is taking as buses remain in service. Now, this new policy announced by the MTA goes into effect today for all passengers who ride local and select bus service. This is the latest action taken by the New York City Transit alongside the Transit Union and the Transport Workers Union aimed to protect employees. Now the new policy will only allow bus riders to board and exit buses using the rear door. Now express bus riders will board at the front of the bus as usual, but will not be permitted to sit in the first three rows. Now this is a part of an effort to practice social distancing from bus operators at the front of the bus. Governor Cuomo has ordered non-essential workers to remain home, an effort to protect frontline workers, healthcare and utility workers, and first responders, and to reduce community spread. And we're told bus fares will still remain the same wherever on-board or off-board ticketing machines are available. Now, any disabled bus rider who may need assistance will still be able to board the bus from the front as usual. In Canarsie, Phil Tate, News 12. All right, Phil, thanks for giving us the latest. And also starting today, our city school kids will be able to grab breakfast, lunch, and dinner for free from the city. The meals are being offered at 400 sites around the five boroughs. And it's a way to make sure kids are still getting the nutrition they need while schools are shut due to the pandemic. So for more information, all you got to do is head to our website, news12.com. And our city school kids are heading back to class today for remote learning. Starting today, kids across all five boroughs will start their first day of remote learning. So good luck to all your parents. We have more information on that process as well on newsfront.com. And we do want to see your family's homeschooling efforts, so please send us your photos and videos showing us how you're studying at home. And you can post on our website, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages using the hashtag remote learning. People living in the Riverdale section of the Bronx are breathing a sigh of relief. A local supermarket says it will not close down during the COVID-19 crisis. It was business as usual at Riverdale Avenue's Key Food yesterday. Elected officials telling me as well, unanswered questions about the store's lease have had customers on edge. They say they need the store to shop for essentials, especially during this time. Andy Cohen's office says yesterday they were contacted by the store with a pledge to stay open in this time of need. Officials calling for better transparency when it comes to commercial operations. I don't think that these commercial landlords realize it's not just the tenant who's paying the rent, it's the customer who's paying the rent ultimately. Uh, and they're not treating this community with respect. In the immediate area, there is actually no other supermarkets. When the big superstores were running out, uh, this store had what, what uh, the family needed. And supermarkets are considered essential services and are allowed to operate during this moment of pause. We have reached out to Key Food and Braun Management for a response to the story and have not yet heard back. One of the biggest beer manufacturers in the world is using its alcohol to make hand sanitizer. Anheuser-Busch tweeted this weekend that it will use its supply and logistics network to produce and distribute hand sanitizer across the U.S. Usually, it's making Budweiser and other popular beers. The company says it will work with the Red Cross to determine where the sanitizer is needed most. I love that everyone's helping out there. And lawmakers continue to debate the nearly $2 trillion economic.